Welcome to the Nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez. And when we think of men, they seem rugged, right? Like they're out, you know, chopping some wood. But these days, they're more clean and prim and proper. So we need to talk to them about that. But first, my guy Murphy's here, and he's got quite a manly drink, if you will. Yes, ma'am. I got you a traditional old fashioned. Traditional old fashioned. You're a man right after my own heart. It's my favorite cocktail. You're going to have to show me how you make this. Yes, but first, my guy Scott's back in the building, and he's getting some work done. So let's check it out. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. Well, you know him as one of the pretty boys we have on here, or should I say sexy men we have up in here. Scott Shunk, who's currently getting some treatment by our girl Shelly Buchner. You're an esthetician and you're doing something to his eyebrows? I'm tinting his eyebrows. Tinting. The reason, tinting them, the reason he's got a few grays. Mm. So we are just darkening them and making them one solid color. The other great thing that you can do with the same color is do his eyelashes. I do the eyelashes as well because his eyelashes are blonde. So by darkening the eyelashes, it makes his eyes look more blue and they pop. So. Hold the phone. You get your eyelashes done? I do. I do. And they're blonde, they're not gray. That's correct. Do they're eyelashes gray. turn gray? I'm sorry for my <laughs> ignorance here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm shook at then shock at this. So when did you start doing this? Why? Um, well, Shelly started doing my eyebrows uh, a couple months ago, and she said, you know what would really make your eyes pop is if I dyed your eyelashes as well. And now this goes back all the way to <clears throat> my mother and my grandmother before her, who is all the beauty secrets I've taken over the years. Oh. And my mother used to go to Saks Fifth Avenue in Manhattan and get her eyelashes done with like some sort of weird coal-based thing that was going to make her go blind if she opened her eyes. So right. I was like, yeah, do my eye do my eyelashes. But the eyebrows, and you started the eyebrows as soon as they started turning gray, or when did you take that on? Well, it was suggested to me, you know, mm. because it's just that the grays were starting to pop a little bit, you know. It's cool to wear a certain salt and pepper over my temples like I do, you know, with the fade and all. But like the, the gray in my eyelash, my eyebrows were a little like, eh, I could get rid of that. And, uh, and it makes everything pop a little bit more in my eyes. I mean, and also, like, no one believes your age here on the show whenever you tell them. I know. Do you feel like this adds to the youth? I mean, I think it's it's like anything, you know. We we let we let a lot of culture sort of pushes us to sort of retain youth. I don't necessarily need to feel like I retain youth. I just everything I do kind of keeps me more youthful, so I sort of stay there. But why not enhance it here and there? I enhance everything, I should say. He <laughs> and what are you seeing, Shelley? Are you seeing a lot more men come in for procedures like that? I do a lot of men. I mean, I do notice like with women are probably most concerned about their looks, but a lot of men are also more involved with their skin and skin care and hair grooming and you know facial hair and things like that so i feel like when i see someone when i looking at scott i was like you know i really you know this hair needs to go let me dye this hair you know just to make him even better looking even like prettier. already looks even good but let's make, him looks even better. let's make him look and better and do you find that men are being more receptive to whenever you give yes notes like absolutely that? absolutely mm -hmm. a lot of men ask about facial treatments and skin care they're more concerned and now i think with everything on Instagram right. and people are much more uh, knowledgeable about the services that are, that are but available. But do you find that they're still kind of like sheepish or maybe like shy or embarrassed when they're coming in? I'm talking about men specifically, not women. No, not really. No. I think if they're, they're asking open. the questions, I think that they're ready to do it. I mean, as far as like, you know, the laser hair removal. Which we're going to get into, Nancy folks, because this is not just for mm -hmm. the ladies. The men are getting laser hair removal. We're going to get into that. I do a lot of facials, microneedling for collagen production for men. Um, chemical peels, skin tightening, all of that, all of that. And is important. it different? Like when you say for men, is it a different process at all or any no. different ingredients? Same, same no. stuff. They have skin, so it's the same. I get yeah. it I get it on my Insta all the time. Like, cause I'll, I'll promote this stuff, or not promote it, but I'll talk about what I do, you know, my skincare routine, like we're getting into today. And I get a ton of DMs, guys just doing like, what's your, what's your moisturizer, what's your wash, what's your soap, what's your, what are you doing? How do you, you know, the, the hair, the hair removal stuff, the laser stuff I do, how do you do it? Have you done this, have you done that? Does it hurt? That kind of stuff. So I get it all the time. And you actually, before you arrived here, went through your entire daily routine, sent us a video, so let's take a look. So what exactly are you going through right now? This is you putting on moisturizer? What, 
What am I looking at? Yeah, it's just, it's, it's my basic morning routine. You know, like if I'm doing sort of, I, I get up in the morning, caffeinate, I sprint, that's my first workout. Then I get in, I clean up to go to the gym. And my cleanup routine to get ready for the day is, you know, the shower, the shave, body shave if I'm doing it, you know, face shave, you know, and all the, all the moisture. I layer a couple moisturizers before I go out in the world. I don't do a lot of sunscreen. I know a lot of people are concerned with that. I find, I use coconut oil as a top layer, which has an SPF of about eight. So I find that's enough for me wow. in the day. But yeah, it's just my morning routine and to, all the way down to my hair, which is of course a big deal. You lost me at caffeinated sprint <laughs> and then you did a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> like what? Who has time for all that? And then you double moisture. Like at what time do you wake up? Let's, let's start there. About seven, seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah. Seven or eight. And what time do you go to bed? About 10. Okay, so you make sure you get your eight, nine hours I of sleep. I have to. I would, yeah, I'm not looking like this at 56 without getting a solid eight hours. So you're telling me you watch yourself on the nightcap the next day? I always watch it the next day. Okay, but you still watch, baby. I always watch. I love it. All right, well, I'm going to let you. My heart is here. <laughs> it better be, and yours better be, too. Well, he's going to continue going through this procedure. Shelly's going to finish up. We'll see the final products, but i got to go see what Murphy's working with here, and it's actually quite tasty, so he's going to make me do it, too. So you stay right there. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about our manly men and how they get ready these days. They be looking real nice and smelling real good. But there's nothing sexier or manlier for me than an old fashioned. My guy Murphy from the deck at Ke in Kima is here to do what? Back, back, back glass. Up. This is my favorite cocktail. I don't know if you've been told that, but the audience has been told many a time. So I'm excited. You what? ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What do we got to do? All right, so first, we're going to take some ice and we'll put right. it here in our shaker tin. All right. How much ice are we talking? Is this good enough? Because I know you, you put yeah, some Yeah, so in there's here. six. You're going to use six mm, cubes of cubes. ice, right? All right, You're going to so take your whiskey, it. your whiskey of choice. Okay. Make it's a day we're using makers. Right. Cool. So you're going to pour in two ounces. Which is that thick side of the jigger. Yeah, that's right. Pull that on that side. Right. And so it, in, in the larger one or the shorter one? It's either one. I use the smaller one just because it's easier to transfer over. Okay. There you go. Then you're gonna take, since we're using a double, we're gonna use two of the bar spoons. Oh, we, th these are doubles. They are They doubles. look quite thick to me. Yeah. Taller. Thicker is better, ain't it? Mm. You Murphy, know. you know. You be knowing a thing or two. All right, so two of these? Yes, ma'am. Right. Is, that, is that too much? Is no, that... that's right. Okay, perfect. Look at me, look at me. I'm learning one, one so day then, at a time. This is gonna be your orange bitters. Okay. Just using six dashes. So, so one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That looks like a familiar um, hand <laughs> movement. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can count, ladies and gentlemen, yes, and sir. I can pump. All right. So you just combine your jiggers, small one goes in the big one. All right. Oh gosh. Okay. There you go. Flip it over. Just tap it on top. All right? Okay. You put your thumb right here. Yes, no, sir. the other side. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, oh, where the this mouth side. is. Put uh -huh. your thumb right there. You just shake it. Oh, it's <laughs> never been explained to me this way. I like it, Murphy. That's it. Okay. Shake it for about I give this it is the 10 most seconds. comfortable I've been on this show. <laughs> Shaking. Oh my god, Murphy. So you what's it done shaking? Okay, it's gonna have a little done. bit of friction, right? How do I? So okay. So whenever it does that, yeah, hold, hold, hold here, it, hold it, just like that, with your hand and your thumb at the top of the mouth, oh on the bottom. Yep. Okay, here. Left hand, right there. Left hand here. Right here, just like that. Okay. And just smack right here, where it connects. Yeah. That. Yeah. That. Pop did it. nothing. <laughs> that did nothing, folks. Let me see. I this. need a man. I need a man. All right. Oh, see, look. It was a little tighter than you. You're gonna take your strainer. Put it on top. All right. And pour it out into your glass. Ooh. All right. Uh, just so the audience knows, typically this is served with a nice, huge block of ice. <laughs> um, unfortunately, here on the nightcap, um, we didn't have that ready. We only have little bitty ice. Uh, much to your dismay, my dismay, everyone at home's dismay. But honestly, you can still enjoy this cocktail no matter what ice you have, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, cheers to you, boo. Cheers. Ah, 
Ain't nothing better. Ain't nothing better. Simple, easy, you can do it at home. Better with a big block of ice, but you don't need it. You don't need it. Well, if you want to check out Murphy, he's at the deck in Kima. You can check him out anytime. But coming up next, we're still talking about these manly men, and we've got um, some people joining us to discuss what they do to get ready. So you stay right there. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about male maintenance, how they're not just out in the woods getting dirty, they're actually getting themselves together. We've got Scott, we've got my friend D'Angelo, he's back again. And we've got Nancy Reimer, you're a laser hair removal professional, so you know a thing or two about what these men do. But D'Angelo, let me start with you. What do you, what is part of your routine to looking good? Uh, so for my routine, um, I know Scott stated that he wakes up around 7 a.m., you stated. Uh, for me, I'm up at 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. <laughs> well, why? Why? Um, Are you, is your call time for? Like, what's happening It's kind here? of the same thing with Scott. Um, he stated that, you know, he does his sprints in the morning. So for me, um, I do fasted cardio um, in the morning uh, for 30 minutes. Um, and then from there, that's when I, you know, make my way home and then uh, take a shower, you know, make sure I'm more you know, my body. No more so. Um, do you use coconut oil or what are you using? Uh, so I use Palmer's um, oil mm -hmm. or Dr. Till's um, skin oil. Um, I also have someone that makes like body um, body like, butters, uh, like body butters mm -hmm. uh, for me as well. Yes. So I typically use those too. Wow. So, yep. And then as far as like the upkeep, like are you tinting your eyebrows? Are you getting those plucked wax? I am not wax? tinting <laughs> my eyebrows. But kudos <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, I do not tint my eyebrows, but I do get um, a haircut every week. Every week. every week. Wow. Um, it's a thing for me. I have two barbers, so if one is not available, I make sure the other. Whoa, available. two? I have two. Tight and you fresh. trust both Tight of them. Because, fresh. like, my husband, for example, is like, just one. Like, if he breaks up with a barber, it would happen after he and I have been divorced right. because, like, that is a relationship for life, I feel like. It They're is. finding two. It Agreed. is. I have Agreed. two. Yeah, I used to actually travel all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, from Atlanta, Georgia for my barber because I trust him so much. He's my best friend. Um, oh, wow. So it was that serious. Gotcha. He, he's yeah. right, he's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm in love with my barber, Travis, uh, down at Argyle League for sure. Yeah, yeah. And, exactly. and you'll travel long distances. And yes, yeah. but I did find two here, um, one named Brandon and another named Malcolm, which I trust them a lot because for yes. me, you know, with my you know, career fields and things like that, like I have to look, you know, far, so. Gotcha. And Scott, you brought it along, Nancy. Who is your laser hair removal professional? She really is. So what? So what? What does he come to you for, Nancy? So you all see the outside, and I see the inside. Got yes, yes. The inside. Make sure that. Yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you yeah. mean literally? Well, Tell me. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy does my junk. You know, mm -hmm. like I've gotten, I've got, I've got, my, I've had laser hair removal on a lot of my body. I shave my, my chest and my arms and my legs, but my back, my underarms, and my bikini and butt are all lasered. What? And, Everything. And, and Nancy She's is like res Nancy is responsible. Single. Thing. Right, right, right. That's, Nancy, as that's I, the as only a, hair. As Nancy, exactly. as I like to say, is the world's greatest ass shaver. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so how does that feel? Is it weird? Is this the the only male client that you do all of this for? Or are you seeing that this is a trend? Trend. Really, Hands more and more down. men are coming in and getting. Hands down, absolutely, all walks of life. I have a seventy-year-old man. I have ministers. Wow. Young and old. Yes, definitely. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. And what's it like for you to have to shave those nether regions? <laughs> it's pretty normal. <laughs> it's normal. You're like, this is my everyday it's, life. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that's, I think that's why you're comfortable. I think why yeah. the men are comfortable yeah. is because it's, you know, it, it doesn't mean anything. You know, they're yeah. my people. Yeah. They're right. my people. And I know they're uncomfortable. Yeah. I you know, know they they're are. uncomfortable. I know You're they in are. a position she's, of power exactly. there. Yeah, she's yeah. she's really amazing. When I started at her at her spa, at her at her med spa doing the laser hair removal, she had a younger technician doing me and it was when I was really I was still furry and you know like getting my balls and my and my cock and everything done. And you know the the technician was just she was just timid, and I was like, Nancy, mm. I, I, I love this girl, but she's fine, but I need you to get in there, shave it, and laser the hell out of it, because I don't want to do this for more than two years, because it takes years to get it, takes, it done. It How does. long does it take? Oh, it takes two years to? It does. Um, wow. Yes, men are very hormonal. 
you know, yeah. and um, and it just they were gonna keep producing it. Especially yeah. a lot of men are taking testosterone shots mm. now, so mm -hmm. it's a battle. But as long as they're regular, it stays off. Gotcha. It stays off. Yeah. And the same with women. And how uh, how much is it for? For, <laughs> for down there, because I feel like there's got to be a premium for you to be touching, right, you know, right. balls it, and it asshole. Varies. Like, okay. It depends. It varies. Generally, for um, for a Brazilian, for mm -hmm. a man, be about seven ninety nine. Gotcha. For six for treatments, six treatments, all six is included in that. D'Angelo, are you removing any hair? Are you shaving? So what are I've you doing? I've actually done that one time. You've done what? Laser? No, one I time? did the uh, Brazilian uh, mm -hmm. wax, wax one time and. It's not for me. <laughs> You're like, well, was it, it too wasn't. painful? Was the wax um, too painful? Actually, uh, it wasn't the pain. Uh, I'm kind of a pain freak, but uh, it was like the aftercare. Like it was just, it didn't, it didn't feel right for me. Mm. I don't know. But yeah. Um, yeah, I don't do any of the hair removal. I actually rarely have mm. any hair at all. Yeah. So that's mm. the plus with my body. So, so uh, taking care of yourselves as much as you do, like actually putting in the time and using the products that you know traditionally women are known for doing. Do you feel like it makes you more attractive? Do you feel more powerful? Like, how does it help you, help you walk in life? It's, you know, I mean, for me, it's like, this is my business at this point, you mm. know? Like, when I left, you know, sort of career world and, and just started living, doing Insta and modeling, um, doing swimwear modeling and all the stuff, the underwear stuff I do, it's like, I just wanted the hair off because I needed to show the work. And that's when I was also, you know, like, I'd been working out for 30 years. But it was like, it's, I, I got super serious, pulled my body fat percentage down to three. And at that point, to see the work, I don't want to see any hair on me. You know, it just, I, the so hair, cover, body hair, fat. Co Lord hair Jesus. covers the work. Mm. So I need to see the work that I'm doing in the gym and then uh, yeah, I just like the aesthetic and so when I was shaving I was getting bumps and stuff mm. um, in some areas and I just didn't especially around like my legs and I think so that's when I went to Nancy and she just started lasering me and I didn't I can't shave my back and all that and so right. yeah. So she got it done. What about you D'Angelo? Uh, for me kind of the same thing, um, you know, for me with the different, you know, things that I do as far as careers. Um, I know he stated modeling. I do modeling as well, um, acting, also an exotic dancer. So um, for my body, it has to be, you know, fairly smooth, you know, for those that are wanting to, you know, touch on me or yep. even, you know, just see me, you know, on TV. So uh, for me, I have to make sure I'm not, you know, as hairy as others. Let's mm -hmm. say that. All right. So, yeah. oh, well, cheers to y'all for looking damn good, okay? That's right. That's right. And Nancy to being the best asshole shaver in the world. <laughs> she really is. Yeah. It's so true. <laughs> Well, uh, cheers to y'all. We'll be right back with the last round. You stay right there. Welcome back to the Nightcap. It's time for the last round brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston. And I've got the CEO in the building, Laura Alexis, and you have a happy client here too, Al McClure. Yes. Okay, for people who don't know what Innovative Lasers of Houston does, what do you guys provide? We change people's lives through, the, through weight loss. You're a happy client. You, you went, what did you experience? Oh, it was, it was wonderful. I mean, uh, it, the, uh, the laser, it doesn't hurt. Uh, there's, uh, uh, it, it, was, it makes fast results. Uh, to do what I did in less than seven weeks would have probably taken a year if I ever could have done it. You know, you know, uh, Wait, okay, actually. so what happened in seven weeks? You gotta tell well, us that. Uh, well, I went to, went to uh, 18 treatments and, and uh, stayed on the nutrition plan um, and, and just uh, abided by the rules, listened to my, uh, uh, to my technician. She was very helpful, very supportive, and kept reminding me what I needed to do. And, um, and they got some exercise too while I was doing it. But the, the main thing I love about it uh, it was, and this is my second time doing it, or I did it several years ago. Uh, the main thing I love about it is it gives me quick results. And because uh, I just I mean, you said seven weeks. Yeah. So what are we talking, how many inches did you lose? How much weight did uh, you lose? Well, I lost just under 34 pounds. And Holy cow. I, I'm now within about five or six pounds of what my should weigh, you know, for my height. And, uh, uh, and I haven't been that way in way before I started getting older and getting fatter, but uh, but I'm, I'm well within my, you know, that. And actually, let's take a look at your before picture, shall we? Like, okay. oh, wow. Well, yeah, How yeah. long ago was this? This was, uh, actually it was about March 15th. Of and, this year? Uh, of this year, yes. Uh -huh. And this is you now? Yes. Oh you. my God, do a spin for us. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Holy cow, Laura, this is incredible. And he yeah. mentioned a nutrition plan. Yes. So it's not just lasers doing work, it's also, you guys, guide clients through 
That's what they right. should be It's an entire eating. package. Not only the, the laser, but um, the nutrition plan plays a huge role. The motivational tools that we offer, the, uh, the coach, the laser technician from beginning to end. I mean, it's an entire program. So our patients are flocking in and losing the weight, stimulating the collagen, feeling better about themselves and being able to do things that they couldn't do before. All right, so for those who are interested, what, how do they get, you know, a program right now? Give us a call. Uh, point your phone to the QR code, text or call the number. We have an amazing special going on. We have easy financing. Typically the transformation package is $2,400, but for viewers right now it's 50% off. Ooh, baby. Yes, 50% off. And um, what gets better than a free consultation? doesn't get better than that because it's free it's free and you just it's you about your learn. yeah and it's about your health it's about feeling better about yourself so I urge everyone I know it sounds too good to be true no downtime no swelling no bruising no pain no heat no cold and you're I gonna know. lose weight come on I know but but hey living proof right here exactly. Exactly. cheers to you Al and Nora congrats and hey if you're interested scan that QR code call or text that number and you'll find a place near you cheers to y'all we'll see y'all next time this is incredible, Al. <laughs>